What's up guys, Randomness Reviews here with you again. And in place of a Millsurp Minute video this week, we're going to be doing a box opening of a Palmetto State Armory PA-10-308 Winchester rifle kit. It's been quite a while since we've done anything involving modern firearms here on the channel. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to dive back into that lane just a little bit. The outside package has some heat shrink wrap on it. This is one of Palmetto State Armory's blemished item SKUs, so there could possibly be a minor defect, but that comes at a discounted price. It's a very nice little box that came in, not quite long enough for a full rifle. Has a little bit of that new car smell going on. I've been in the market for an AR-10 for a very long time. It's always an addition I wanted to make to my modern firearm systems. As you guys know, I'm mainly into Millsurps, but I do have modern firearms. I view them more as a tool than I do an item to collect. So we'll get right into the barreled action here. This upper should have basically everything that I need included. I'm trying to locate what they consider a blemish, aside from very slight finish wear. I'm really not seeing anything yet. It looks in pretty immaculate condition in my opinion. A2 flash hider, stainless steel barrel, one in 10 twist with a 308 chambering, which is actually preferred over a 7.62 chambering. It's a rifle length gas system with a heavy profile barrel, adjustable gas block, 15 inch M-lock compatible, free float guardrail, BCG included. <laughs> That's a steel bulk carrier group that has been nitrated and supposedly contains an extra strength extractor spring, standard aluminum charging handle. The upper certainly seems to be super solid, although heavy. As far as being blemished though, I can only find the most minor of imperfections in the finish of the upper. It is nearly perfect. They include an extra length Allen key for the adjustable gas block. This kit should include everything I need to build the rifle minus the receiver. There's our buffer assembly, recoil spring, buffer tube. I was a little curious about what they would include for a grip. Luckily, this grip doesn't have that stupid finger separator that I hate. It has sort of a rubberized finish, similar to that of a Hogue grip. It does have a Palmetto logo molded into it there. Hole in the bottom, but no trap door. Magpul black polymer buttstock. This bag contains all the small components for building out the receiver, safety selector, things of that nature. And lastly, we have the trigger, which is a standard two-stage trigger. Nothing fancy for sure, but the reviews on this are fairly decent. So as I stated before, I've wanted an AR-10 for a very long time. Why did I end up going with Palmetto State Armory for my AR-10? Well, first and foremost, I like PSA as a company. I think they make really good, high-value products. It's all American-made. But for me, value is always king, and the value on Palmetto products is out standing. This rifle build kit came in on sale for $630 in its blemish form, as I've shown in this video. If there is a blemish, I don't see it. And when you can catch a PAAR-10 receiver for just over $100, you're looking at being able to build a complete AR-10 in 2022 for about the $800 mark. There's no way you're getting close to $800 for any other AR-10 manufacturer in today's market, even if you're looking at a DPMS. Now, I would keep in mind that this isn't going to have all the perks of building your own upper. Of course, if I was putting my own upper together, I would have probably got a barrel that was a good bit lighter than this one. I would have tried to streamline the components, really be minimalist and get the lightest rifle I can get. For the role I'm going to put this rifle in, I don't mind it being heavy. And that's why I went ahead and decided to pull the trigger on this particular kit. Because I don't really care that I'm going to have a 10 pound rifle. Because I'm not going to be setting this up as like a run and gun system anyway. It's going to be a bench rest rifle for the most part. Should you decide to pick up one of these kits yourself, I would keep in mind that it does not contain everything you need to put together a rifle. Of course, there are no optics or sights included. So you'll either need to buy backup iron sights and install those, or what I would do, just install a scope or red dot sight if you'd like that. It did not come with a magazine. That would have been a nice inclusion to throw a Magpul mag in there, but they didn't do that. So I will need to source a magazine for it. But other than that, it has everything else you need to get up and running at a very competitive price. These come in both 18 inch and 20 inch variants. I opted to go with a 20 inch barrel because I want to achieve maximum velocity with my ammunition and I don't really care about that little added weight. 
Also, it reduces the noise signature of the rifle a little bit, making it a little less jarring to shoot. All good things in my opinion. The main takeaway from this video should be though, to not be afraid of any of the blemished items from Palmetto State Armory. With this kit as an example, they seem to be well worth the cost savings that you get. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments. If you want to see more modern firearms content from me, make sure that you let that be known because that's something that I'm thinking about incorporating into the channel just a little bit more. And if you'd like to see another video on this rifle once I have it completed, let me know about that as well. Hit that thumbs up to help it out with the algorithm. Gun content needs all the help it can get on YouTube. And please subscribe to the channel to catch all my future videos. If you know anyone else that might find this video helpful, please be sure to share the video because that helps the channel grow more than anything else. We'll be back with a military surplus firearm video next week, and I will catch you in the next video. See you then. Peace.